In this video, I will show you how to fix when permission group is not getting removed in the user form. Even when the permission has been removed from the CTM people form. There are some cases when permission is being removed from the CTM people form, but this change is not being reflected on user form. For this example, I have a user, Steve Porter, who has asset viewer as a permission group. You can verify this by searching on group form with the permission group name. You can see the group ID for asset viewer as 232. If you click on show members button, a user form will be displayed with the list of the users who belongs to this permission group. Now let's back to the CTM people form to remove this asset viewer permission group from a Steve's profile. Once you do this change, if you check on user form and do a refresh, you can see this permission group is still there for Steve. This could be caused by one filter called CTM PPG update group list 220 remove six, which is responsible for pushing the recomputed group list to the user form based upon the modification made in the CTM people permission groups. In order to check this, we need to go to Developer Studio, look for this filter and verify that it's enabled. In this case, the filter was disabled. So let's enable this again and save. Now let's do the same exercise by adding Asset viewer as a permission group on Steve's profile. We'll do a refresh. And remove this permission group again. And if we go back to the user form and look for the Steve's profile, we can see now asset viewer permission group has been removed as expected from the Steve's group list. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.